All right, welcome back. We're continuing on. In the previous video, we got the code up to this point. So make sure you've done your coding up to there. The next item on our list was we wanted to prompt to see if the user wanted to continue. And we're just doing this right for the practice and exercise. So what I will do is I'm going to do it like this. I'll say, um, and I, I can either put the code right here or I can put it in a separate function. And to give us experience with functions, I'm going to, to, to put it in the, the function. So I'll say, um, let's do this. We'll say if, and again, I'm doing it like this to give us more experience on things. In fact, even before I do this if statement, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a function. Let's put the function here. And the function is going to be called continue. So we'll say uh, prompt to continue. And what we'll do is we'll return 0 um, to continue. And we'll return 1 to not continue. Right, that's what we're going to do with this function. So that means this will return an integer and I'll say um, prompt continue be the name of the function no inputs and basically what I want to do is prompt whether they would like to continue this program or not. So we'll say printf do you want to continue? And we'll ask for a yes or a no. Right. And I won't put a new line so it'll end the prompt right there. And then I'll do a I will have a character C actually we'll have an integer C is going equal to something we've used in previous is get char. All right, so we're going to get the character. And then we know from what we, we want to eat, the, we know that when we enter something, we're going to get both the character and the new line. So I'm also say get char eat the new line. So that we take care of that right away. And then we're going to say if C is exactly equal to, if you said lowercase y, right, that's one of the options, or C is exactly equal to uppercase y. And all of this, in fact, we notice we're getting the error here. All of this is inside a bigger parentheses right for this whole if statement so if it's equal to exactly equal to y or it's exactly equal to uppercase y and remember you want to do the double equals very important so if that is the case so you do want to continue then we're going to say return zero because right, you want to continue otherwise return 1. All right, because we said we're going to return 1 if you do not want to continue and return 0 if you do. Okay, so and remember you can pause the video at any time, think about the code, make sure it's as you as you think. So what we'll do here is we'll say if what we'll do is prompt continue Okay, so we, we know when we call this, it's going to return either a 0 or a 1. Well, an if statement checks to see if something is true. Well, if something's true, it's, it's non-zero. Fault to 0, everything else is true. So here, when we call prompt continue, right here, if it returns a 0, that means we want to continue on. Otherwise, 
If it returns a 1, we do not wish to continue. So we'll just do this. Why don't we do a put string, OK, goodbye. All right, so we'll do a put string, goodbye. And then let's just do a return 0. Now remember, I'm doing this to give us practice from previous skills. And there's, for anything I code, there's more than one way to do it. But I'm showing you a, a specific way, and oftentimes I do it to show different skills. So now, when we run this, do you want to continue? Let's say I type in, OK, goodbye. Let me say why. Of course, it, it continues on. In fact, I would say, why don't we put it at the very end of here? We'll do a put string all done. Just so we can know we've made it here to the end. And I'll say print. You wish to continue? Yes. All done. Do you wish to continue? No. So make sure you have this, this code running. And in fact, why don't we do this? Since we made a minor change to our code, right, not major, just minor, I'm going to increment this number. All right, we made just a, a tiny, it's not really a major change. All we did was add some additional, we want to continue, All right? So that would be a case where it makes sense to increment this. So do that, get your code running, and then on the next video, we will continue on the, the next part of this. I'm Norman McIntyre. Thanks for watching.